Taiwan's economy faces uncertainty as tensions with China are likely to rise following the victory of the Democratic Progressive Party in the island's presidential elections, with analysts' views differing on the question of a slowdown. Risk perceptions of the Taiwanese market are expected to strengthen even though a DPP victory was largely factored in, with the market's response hinging on China's reaction in the coming weeks and months, Amundi Asset Management said in a note last week. The firm warned, if China were to impose a customs quarantine, banning major imports and exports and allowing only essential foods and fuels into the country, concerns about supplies and social unrest could arise. Such a scenario would likely lead to a depreciation of the Taiwan dollar and impact both the real estate and stock markets. Alicia Garcia Herrero, Nataxis's chief economist for Asia Pacific, however, expects Taiwan to see faster growth in 2024, offering tailwinds to the DPP government as mainland China remains Taiwan's biggest export destination despite tensions. Amundi warned a possible temporary economic blockade of Taiwan could alarm the markets. A more extreme scenario of a full blockade that prohibits all imports to Taiwan will trigger a regional risk-off event, severely impacting Asian stock and real estate markets and leading to foreign exchange shortages, it said. A blockade, isn't out of the question, but, highly unlikely, Gabriel Wildow managing director at global business advisory firm Tenio said, adding that while the DPP's Lai Ching Te has had a history of pro-independence rhetoric, his presidential campaign was quite tempered. China has dismissed the outcome of Taiwan's elections, saying the DPP does not represent the mainstream public opinion. On January 13, Taiwan delivered an unprecedented third presidential term to the ruling DPP's Lai, considered a China skeptic. Wildao said the base case for Taiwan would be a continuation of the status quo, which features regular military exercises near Taiwan and a refusal by Beijing to engage directly with a DPP-led government. Beijing will observe Lai's statements and actions until he takes office on May 20 before issuing a full response, he writes in his Jan.14 report. At least in his first year, if not his entire term, I expect Lai will emphasize continuity with President Tsai and avoid any risky provocations, so I don't expect Beijing will feel compelled to respond with a blockade or other highly aggressive actions. His view is also shared by the Economist Intelligence Unit, which said in a January 15 note that both a declaration of Taiwanese independence and a Chinese invasion of Taiwan remain unlikely. However, the report added that, questions around Mr. Lai's presidency could preserve some risk concerns regarding Taiwanese assets in the first half of 2024. The DPP won the presidency but it lost its majority in the, the legislative yuan, Taiwan's parliament.